Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Blood Bowl, an amazing game that I want to play a little more of in honor of Blood Bowl 2 being announced. haven't done my research on it, so I can't decide whether or not I want it yet, but it is a thing, and I'm excited at the very least to see what they decide to do with it. So we're going to go ahead and start a new single-player campaign. Not multiplayer, because I suck. Alright, so, begin a campaign, and we are going to set this up. Let's see. Well, that is always nice. This one, uh, this one does age your players, which I don't like. Um, I think. It's either this one ages your players or this one does. I'm going to figure that out, and I'll be back. I was correct. Classic mode does not include aging. So we're going to go ahead and choose classic. I don't like the aging issues. So we are going to go for um, the punishers. And medium is a good difficulty level anymore and it's, they start cheating. So we're going to go ahead and keep going here. Alright. So shall we choose a race? Okay. I don't want to pick Amazons at all. Let's see. Corn demons are always fun. I've never played as the lizardmen. Lizardmen could be fun to try. Uh, necromantic could be fun. Werewolves. Um, could also. Ooh. Hmm. We could do a vampire thing. That could be interesting. Undead could also be interesting. Let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Or. Or. We could go for. Dun, dun, dun. No. No. No, no. Nurgle, Nurgle's not, not uh, creative enough. What do I want to play as? It's it's a big decision. Very big decision. So how about how about we go for some vampires here? And those colors look pretty cool. How do you like your steak? As much as I love that. Um love bites. Love bites. Love bleeds. <laughs> love bleeds. We love love. Yes. And of course, the name will be the Punishers. I'm going to begin the campaign here. We're going to take part in the competition, of course. Let's see. All right, let's go ahead and buy some players. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for the grand reveal of the team, we have, starting at the top, we, that's not the top, we have Count Nibblestein. We have Count Hangry, because he's been smoking. Count Omnom Your Face, because why the hell not? Count Evil Laughter, because... <laughs> that wasn't evil, that just sounded... like vaguely sad. And now we have all the thralls. You're a dead one. You too. Three's a crowd. These guys don't get actual pictures. Forlorn, high five, ringing sixy back. Seven eleven, how convenient. About to get eight. Nine! Nine! Don't kill me. And tension is high. So, that's the team. We got all 14 of them. And we have two rerolls. I need to buy an apothecary. As well as uh, one more reroll. But that's all we've got for now. So, let's go ahead and prepare the match. Alright. As you can see... We don't quite have a high of the team value, so we are going to have quite a bit of... Sarnakr Niggert! Niggert! 
That's a bad word. Shouldn't say that. All right, team training. We're gonna go ahead and buy another reroll for now. Um. Ooh. Hmm. Or buy a halfling master chef just to see what happens. It's kind of risky, but. At the same time, you've got a 50% chance on each die of getting a reroll, which I think is better than spending uh, that much there because it'll take away their rerolls. Let's go ahead and check out their team. Three hobgoblins, one with dirty player, bunch of dwarf blockers, block tackle, fix goal. Yeah, okay. Maybe take, taking away the rerolls might not be the best choice, but I'm going to go and go with it. Break tackle. Is an interesting, interesting one. You still only got three agility. Never mind. Mighty blow. Okay. But if we manage to injure one of the hobgoblins, we're in the clear. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Halfling Master Chef just for a little more tension and a little more fun. I'm gonna launch out the game here. I've who at all. Um, cheerleader, assistant coach, Budweiser babes, bribes. Alright, well, let's. Tails never fails, obviously. And let's actually try to receive this. Oh, right, that's the Halfway Master Chef. Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna put all the thralls on the line here. I'm actually inspired to use this. Build uh, because of one of the YouTubers I watch whenever he uploads, which hasn't been too recently, but uh, his name is I'm trying to think and click at the same time. That's difficult. People who do this a lot have certainly have my respect. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Lorenzo, King Lorenzo. He has a excellent vampire team. Which I always found very enjoyable to watch, because you don't see very many vampire teams. They usually kind of die horribly. Alright. Let's go ahead and accept the build. Move the vampire back. He has six. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Always want to make sure within six spaces of a thrall. In case he rolls a one and has to drink their blood. Okay, so they lost one and I gained one, and we each get a free bribe. First things first, let's try to pick up the ball. He does not roll a bloodlust, which is always lovely. All right, well we're gonna go down the road that has. Less Chaos Dwarf blockers. That's usually a good thing to do. Um, keep moving the thralls over, though. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. Yeah. Alright, well, we can move this thrall up, actually. And then move that one up. And... See if we can gaze into his pearly vision. Nope. Pearly vision? That's kind of weird. Alright, okay, so this probably isn't going to work, but we're going to do it. It does work. Oh, wow! Okay. So, yeah, knocked him out. Very nice. But he had thick skulls, so he didn't get knocked out. Alright, so we're actually going to try to tie up this hobgoblin. We've got this one last vampire to use. I'm going to try to go for a blitz here. Very nice indeed. We're not going to follow him up. I'm going to try to provide a little more block. Oh, wow! 
This is going insanely well. This should not be happening. My thralls should not be beating up Chaos Dwarf blockers. But they are, so I'm really not going to complain. That was an insanely lucky first turn. I probably shouldn't have blocked those last few, but I did. And I also probably should have moved my vampire. Well, movement six. Oh well, okay, Bull Centaur's charging my vampire. And that is a single red skull. Alright. Well, let's move my thrall up. How far can you go? Go to here, so I'll move my thrall here. Actually, move him there. Right, we're going to try and move you there. No, we're not going to reroll. Now we're going to try to hypnotic gaze one of these hobgoblins. Not going to reroll, going to bite that thrall. He gets an automatic injury roll. Try to get him away from my ball carrier. The main deal with him. Both centaurs do have a strength of four. So I could probably get up there, but if I end up bloodlusting. Basically I'm just trying my damnedest to Oh, that was what I'm making terrible moves today. Okay, we're gonna try to block him. He's the lesser of two evils. We're not gonna move him up. Does mean we do have a straight shot. Or would you rather have him here? And try to... Let's see, if we blitz him down... He ends up there. I can get through. So we're going to try to blitz him down. I'm getting extremely lucky. And we're going to stick him up there against that that centaur. Got to shift some thralls over just in case. There's no reason to risk a bloodlust if I don't have to. And both downs are okay. Ooh, nice. Got a badly hurt off the hobgoblin. Of course, it's going to the Thrall, so I think it's going to Forlorn. Um, so I really don't care that he got SPP, but hey, you know, it, it's better than nothing. Alright, so these Bull Centaurs should not be able to dodge. And they're getting some really terrible rolls. Okay. Uh, we'll move this Thrall up in case I bloodlust. I did not. And scoot him around against the bull centaur there. This guy does not need to do anything. These guys don't need to do anything. You can block this bull centaur though. And scoot him up. So, here's the thing. There are three possible results on the dice. I would accept four. And he would need a four plus to dodge. So I would rather risk this. Okay. Informed decision. I believe it's a four plus to dodge. I know it's not a five plus, so basically there were, there is only, um, oh, there's only one result in the dice that I didn't want from that, which was the one I got both times. I was taking them both down in a heartbeat, so that was a risk I was willing to take. And forlorn got knocked out, and you managed to dodge. There we go. Okay, so nothing happened with the remainder of the turn there. And this vampire should just be able to dodge in and score.
But, in case he doesn't, stand people up. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. Okay. Didn't work out. Actually, that was useless. Why did I do that? Basically, if you don't make your blood bus roll, then yeah, you won't score. But you did, so that was worth it. Alright, so let's see what happens here. I think my player woke up, which is nice. Not that I really care. Um, let's see. Did all four vampires get put on? Yes, they did. Count evil after. Get your ass off the pitch. Let's see what he says. Rats, his mouse got stuck. Hate it when that happens. Yep, my thrall did indeed wake up. Alright, so we managed to score there. Let's get everybody up now. Try to kick this bastard off. I'd much rather have it on the left. So we'll aim at the bull centaur. Probably won't go there. Perfect defense. It's going to land off the field. Of course it will. Why wouldn't it? Oh, right. Perfect defense is where I can do things. <laughs> Alright. Well, actually, I don't want to over, over vamp a side. But this is going to happen anyway, so... We'll switch those in location. And call it a day. And it is over on that side, so that's okay. Just gonna try to push up that that wing. Yeah. Dwarves are better blockers than thralls. <laughs> By a mile. I just got really lucky. Let's see what happens when it's my turn. There we go. So stand up that thrall, ready for some more punishment. <laughs> see what I did there? Because my team is the punishers. Yes? No? Okay. I'll shut up now. Keep the thralls moving up the pitch here. Not very enthralling action, but uh, gets things done. All right, so let's go ahead and try to list the hobgoblin here, which did indeed work. We won't follow the hobgoblin because obviously that was going to happen. Move him up there next to that thrall. Other than that, we'll just try to move people down the pitch. And this vampire can stay back here, but we're going to try to gaze longingly into this hobgoblin's eyes. And yes, indeed, it worked. So that's lovely. We can go ahead and scoot this thrall down here. Just trying to cover everyone. Of course, the issue is I'm giving him a lot of blocks, but I'm also tying up his players. And I'd rather tie up his players, because my vampires are very, very mobile. And he needs to roll one of three results to knock me down. I don't really care about pushing. Right now, at least. If my thralls get cut off my vampires, then I'd care. Um, yes, let's go ahead and knock you down. Why would you do that? I mean, really, there's no reason to do that at all. Right. So, we're going to put a thrall here. Stand a thrall up. Um, let's see, this thrall... Just stick right there, I guess. 
I don't have very many thralls up here, which could be an issue. See, if I were to go around like that, I would have two dice. See what happens? Boom! Got him. And the bull centaur is not going to catch anything. My thrall is standing right next to it. And let's see if I can't get my vampire right next to it as well. I don't want to give him a free block though, which would be putting him there. So... Okay, well let's see what happens. That was... It, let's see what happens is a terrible way to play this game, but, um... Just gonna, Okay, sorry, one second. Alright, and back. So let's try to get this vampire right next to the ball. We won't bother re-rolling, just move him here. And, uh... Call that good on nom that throw. Oh, a couple turns, that's okay. Anything else that I wish to do? Other than try insane amounts of dodges. Let's actually see if we can get two vamps next to it. We can. Okay. I would have tried to reroll that. Yeah, break tackle on a Chaos Dwarf blocker makes no sense at all. Because then he goes from Agility 2 to a grand total of Agility 3. Um, for those of us who can do math, that's, number one, not a huge difference. And number two, um, not a huge difference. <laughs> I don't know what else you'd want there. Okay, we're gonna try to hypnotic gaze this guy. So we can get a thrall up here. And up here. This guy. Can come around. That's a doable risk, I feel. So, we have two options. We can try for a one die block, try hypnotic gazing. I don't remember how to get the UI, uh, the UI back. One second, please. Never mind, I can't look in there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look it up online. One second again. Display slash hide the chat is F9. Yeah, one sec, please. Hypnotic Gaze is a 3+. There we go. So, I just have to leave it on that, so whenever I push F9 to stop start recording, and get back out. Alright. So, basically, I have to decide how many results are acceptable. All you need is a push. So, down would be good. Uh, stumbles would be good. Push would be good. Both down would be bad. Defender, <laughs> defender down would be... Or, attack, attacker down would be bad. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I want to go for... Let's, but let's see, that's a 3 plus. Okay, let's see if we can pick it up. We can. Okay. Well, that solves a lot of issues. Um, let's try to just dodge out then. Wasn't bad at all. Now, I would much rather be blitzing you. Knocking you down to play with the thrall. And sitting my fat vampire ass right over there. 
Okay. That sounds much, much nicer. All that research for next to nothing. Let's end the turn. So I'm kind of hoping that he decides to block! His bull centaurs, which are the things I'm most worried about. Oh, his hobgoblin failed a dodge roll. I think there are three agility. So it's respectable, but st yeah, still not the greatest idea ever. Alright. I'd much rather have his, his, um, his men try to block. Then, uh, and try to dodge to my my guys, even though dodging might be much, 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 much harder for him. I would still rather have him uh, feeling blocks. Okay. Actually, I don't know. I'd rather him beating up men I don't care about than having a chance of beating up the guys I do care about. Alright, so we managed to score there. Um, I believe that was turn 8. I think it was. That's why I went for it. I hope it was turn 8 there. Jeez, that's loud. Yeah, that was turn 8. Good, then I did make intelligent decisions. So let's go ahead and speech. You right back over there. There you should be. Let's see what you have to say. <laughs> Less dancing. Hey, this is a nightclub because I'm vampires. And we like night. But um, there we go. All right. So let's see here. Brilliant coaching. So they get an extra reroll. Not too concerned. I still have two. This is turn eight. So I'm cool with that. I've gotten very lucky. Usually, especially with vampires, you're gonna have to make more rerolls on the uh, bloodlust. That's why you always want to keep one. Keep one extra. So basically I've got one to spend, is the way I think about it. He's obviously not going to score, he's beating up thralls that I don't care about. Vampires are the only thing that team, team that matter. The thralls are like 40,000. I, I literally don't care about them. Could not care less. They're pretty much useless. So this turn is irrelevant, and I wish he would end it. So he's done all the blocks he can. Let me try pass. That'll work. There's half time. Let's see what happens. Still got the one injury over there for him. The one hobgoblin injury. And yes, you're you're still about to get eight, because I still only want three vamps on the field. Let's see. Did he steal it? Did he score both? Who scored? Did Count Omnom Oh, Count Omnom on your face scored both, and they put him on the sideline. That's amazing! Yes, he, not, he does not need to participate anymore. He needs to level. Levels are good. Alright. Which side would I rather see this on? Just looking at the dudes. I don't really care. Uh, dirty player. Let's not be close to the dirty player. Boom. I'll play Master Chef. And again, just, just the one. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I believe that was a quick snap, which they never did anything for. So, let's see. They're gonna cage. And no, you don't. <laughs> there we go. That is certainly one way to do it one way not to do it. Alright. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here. Basically, I want to hypnotic gaze this guy, but if it doesn't work, I'm going to be set back a turn with this character. Or, I should say, if he would have gotten a bloodlust roll. Now I want my thrall to just stand up there. I'm sure he's going to get battered, but it's the great part about having fodder. I don't care what happens to them. So vampire can reach him, okay. So let's go ahead and blitz this hobgoblin. Everybody move up. Stop.
stay right there. We're going to just throw some thralls over here for the sake of it, and leave this gentleman in the back, ready to respond. And unless he clicks on this player, they're going to stay hypnotized. So hopefully that's the case. Sometimes if they fail a roll or something, they don't remember to move this player first. It's basically like he's fallen down, but he has full movement. So he can stand up and be fine, but he's got to stand up first. He's got to be clicked on, he's got to have his action. So if this block fails or something, obviously it won't because, you know, both centaurs are pretty badass. But if it had, then that chaos dwarf blocker couldn't have done anything the next turn. He wouldn't have counted for tackle zones or anything. Alright. And, aha! Please tell me that was the same one. Is it forlorn? Forlorn? For no. How convenient. It's a 7-Eleven. Okay, so we're going to scooch you up there. I'll stand you up. Going to put the thrall beside the hobgoblin. We are going to put that thrall there in the danger zone. So he hasn't clicked on him. So he doesn't have any tackle zones. Okay, so we're gonna try to hypnotic. No, why would we do that? Let's try to block the guy. Hypnotic gaze, I don't think, requires a bloodlust roll. Which would be a reason to do hypnotic gaze, but. As of right now, it's not a huge deal. Okay. So I'm thinking about blitzing him. So I can get through here without having to dodge. And I am good at dodging, but at the same time, I don't want to push my luck. And now we're going to see if we can't move up and hypnotic gaze this guy. And it worked! That is amazing. Okay, so this side is pretty weak, but. His hobgoblin is kind of screwed right now. Which is what I'm trying to do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just realized how weird that sounded. I'm trying to screw a hobgoblin. That just makes me feel unclean thinking about it. He's trying to blitz my thrall, which I am very okay with. Please, blitz my thralls all the time. And he failed that, so again, there you go. Tackle zone, irrelevant. Hypnotic Gaze works amazing against non-human players. And even against human players, it's still pretty damn good. Okay. So, let's see what we can do here. Unfortunately, can't do much. But at the least, we can get you around here and try to pick up the ball. I'm ah. not going to re-roll. Because I can bite the conveniently located thrall. Is it? Hold on, please tell me this is 7-Eleven. No, it's you too. Okay. I'm going to say, if the conveniently located thrall is called 7-Eleven, that would just be too amazing. We're just going to try to move him. Oh man! 7 Eleven just got another <laughs> SPP, that is amazing. 7 Eleven is doing very well. And this may seem pointless, but I'm gonna do it. Probably a terrible decision to risk that bloodless roll, but I did. Just because I wanted him sitting there. Alright. Full Centaur's gonna stand up. This guy's probably gonna blitz. But I'm okay. Need to get them dodging block. Now I'm kind of pinned in, but we'll see what happens. Okay, yep, he lost, but that's okay. I'm up by two already, so I'm not too concerned. That's okay, because I can just stand them right back up. And you fail, sir. Alright, 
about to get eight is going to stand up. You are certainly a dead one. We are going to put you here, because that's the easiest. And now we're just going to try to block our way out of this. We're not going to follow that. Okay, we really need to stand him up. That's a two-die block, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Push him out there, not going to follow that. Block this guy, knock him down. Put him... Let's put him over here and we will fall. Let's see what we can do here. No skills on no skills. I'm going to go ahead and move him up, because... Alright, ball scatter. Let's see what happens. To my favor. Full turn. Alright, let's see what happens here. See what this bull centaur... Nope, nothing. And there goes a Thrall KO. That's okay. Not a huge deal. Forlorn. I did like Forlorn. Alright, well, let's keep him where he is, at least. Oh, there goes a vampire. I'm a little more annoyed about that. Okay. Well. Let's get this vampire out. That. In order to do that, we're going to want a thrall over in this direction. Where do we want to put that thrall? Let's put the thrall here. It looks like so. Won't knock him down, that's okay. Just trying to pick up the ball. Okay, so we managed to pick it up. Let's go back this way. Now we'll move this thrall down like this. And put this vampire over here. For that, we we'll try to block that one. Very nice. Just because we had the dice. Right, let's see what happens. End of. See what happens. He's gonna get two dice. So knocks me down. No injuries, so that's good. Even if it is just uh, freeze a crowd. It's gonna get the block on my ball carrier, but also not going to take the ball away from me. Now, how are we gonna do this? Because I don't want to run. I don't want to start running backwards. I don't want to pull an AI. First of all, let's stand up our spare thralls. What's the best way out of this? So if we were to block this guy down with the vamp. And get the hobgoblin down. No, we don't want to take a move in action. We're going to go ahead and block with him. Knock him down. Do that. And bite this thrall. This needs to work. Now, do we want to try one more? Because right now this looks... Oh, no. This looks like that. Lots of pretty colors. This would take care of two of those. So I think this is going to work. We're going to re roll that. Get them up there. So this is one dodge roll. And a hell of a lot of running.
within range of both of his bull centaurs, but there's not much I can do about that. Makes his bloodlust and doesn't make a dodge. Okay. Let's see what he does here. Hobgoblin picks it up. Not going to go very far, though. That's slightly annoying. That was a lot of work for nothing. Especially with 4 agility, I'm kind of expecting to be able to dodge. But it's okay. If he manages to score one, I can live with that. And I think I might have to live with that, because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to... anything else. Alright, well let's try to regroup. Let's try to run away. There's no point in getting any of my meaningful players hurt. Right now, I'd rather have him fail a dodge roll and take a hit than be laying on the ground and take a hit, so... Uh, we're not going to bother doing that. Alright, so we're going to move the Hobgoblin down there. He's out of, probably out of range. Yeah. I'm not going to chase after him at this point. Let's see what we can do with what we've got trying to stay away from dwarf blockers. Basically, this is a good time for the game to end. And this is indeed his last, so we actually managed to prevent him from scoring. Which I am very okay with. Yeah, that's what I wanted to avoid in that big old crowd. We're going to end the turn, because... I don't know. Got one block. Which led to nothing, but that's okay. Go ahead and go. And come back when we have the match. Alright, so we rolled a three. Uh, let's re-roll, see what happens. And we got less. Shoot. Okay. Well. Uh, three's a crowd, one MVP, which isn't great, but that's okay. I can live with it. Now let's see what we've got, because we're going to have at least one level. Level two vampire. Let's go ahead and level up this guy. Look at all that. That is amazing. Alright, so we probably just want block, to be perfectly honest. Or dodge might be good too, but I would rather have block. Make him a little bit better. Get the blocky in there and get dodge next just to build a good foundation. We still have all of our players, so that was a good first game. And I'll see you in the next one.